welcome to Smart Horizon. In this video, we will learn the tips and tricks of learning the tables from 7 to 10, that is 7, 8, 9 and 10. We already have done the tips and tricks to learn the tables from 0 to 6 in the previous videos. So let's start. So for the table of 7, we will draw a tic-tac-toe grid that is 3 by 3 grid that is 3 rows with 3 columns each. So here we have our grid. Now what we will do next is we will write numbers 1 to 9 starting from the left upper column we will write 1 and we will write 2, 3 and we will, uh, we will follow the same process and end up at this that is we will write 9 here. So let's write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, we, what we have done? We have written 1 to 9 digits on the 1's place in the grid. Now, what we will do for the 10's places? We will write a 0 here. And then 1 and 2. As of a counting, 0, 1, 2. Next, what we will do? For this, we will copy the same tens digit here that is the 2 then 3 then 4 like earlier we have done we will copy this 4 here and then 5 and 6 and we will be having a 0 outside that as we have 10 digits in the table we will write 7 here. So, what we have done? We have written 1 to 9 in the 1's place. Then we will, uh, then for the 10's place, we will write the counting as of 0, 1, 2. Then we will copy this 2 to this line. Then 2, 3, 4. We will copy this last 4 to this 4, 5, 6, and 7. And here is our 7 times table ready. How? Let's have a look. Seven times one is equal to seven. Or here you can write zero seven. Seven times two is equal to fourteen. Seven times three is equal to twenty one. Here we have twenty one. Seven times four, we have twenty eight. Seven times five is our thirty five. Here we have thirty five. Seven times six is forty two. Seven times seven is forty nine.
7 times 8 is 56. Seven times nine is equal to sixty three. This is our sixty three, and last is seven times ten is equal to seventy. We have seventy here. So this is our table for seven. That is the seven times table. Next, we will move forward to the eight times table. Next, we have 8, that is the 8 times table. For 8 times table, we will draw a grid of 5 columns. That is, we will draw 2 rows with 5 columns each. After drawing the grid, what we will do is, we will write the table of 2, that is the 2 times table, but in backward direction. That is, we will write 0 in the end here as we always write when we write 2 times table. Then we will start the 2 times table till the 2 times 4 as of 2, 4, 6, 8. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 4 is 8. We will repeat the numbers in the second row on the 1's place. Now what we will do for the tens place here is we will write the counting as simple as that. Here I will be doing 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and we will copy this 4 to this first column 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And yes, this is our 8 times table. It looks really simple. If you learn by these tricks, you will never forget the tables. Here we will start writing the table of 8. Eight times one is this is times one times two, three, four, five. So eight times one is zero. 8 8 times 2 is 16 8 times 3 is 24 8 times 4 is 32 8 times 5 is 4, 0. That is 40. 8 times 6 is 48. Now we will have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 8 times 7 is 56 8 times 8 is 64 8 times 9 is 72 8 times tens is 80. So here we now have the 8 times table ready. Uh, we will now move forward to the 9 times table. 9 times table is actually very easy but if we want to learn that table without any tips and tricks it is the hardest table that I have ever learned. But with this trick it will be very easy for you. So let's start with the 9 times table. 
for the nine times table we will again draw a grid of five columns each two rows with two rows that is two rows with five columns each after i have drawn this grid what we will do is we will simply write the counting from 0 to 9 on the ones place but in the backward direction that is i will start writing 0 here and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 digits that we have placed on the ones place now what about the tens place we will again write the digits from 0 to 9 but in the opposite manner that is we have written 0 here and we will on the tens place we will write 0 1 2 3 that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and yes this is as simple as that and our 9 times table is ready with us. Now we will write the table. Nine times one is zero. Nine. Nine times two is eighteen. Nine times three is 27 9 times 4 is 36 9, 9 times 5 is 45 9 times 6 is 54. 9 times 7 is 63. 9 times 8 is 72. 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 10 is 90. So here we have our 9 times table ready. Now we will next move forward to the table of 10. Now for the 10 times table, what we will simply do is we will start writing the table itself. I will first write this format. I have written the format here. Now what we will do is we will write 10 times 1 is as I have said earlier in the table of 1 that is if we multiply something to 1 the number itself is the result. So 10 multiplied by 1 should be 10. 
then what we will do is we will write zero at the ones place for each. That is, I'll write a zero, 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 zero. What we have done is we have written zero for all these on the ones place. And for the tens place, we will write the numbers to which we are multiplying. That is 10 times 2. So we will write 2 here. 10 times 3, we will write 3 here. 10 times 4, we will write 4 on the tens place. 10 times 5, we will write 5 on the tens place. 10 times 6, we will write 6 on the tens place. 10, 10 times 7, we will write 7. 10 times 8, we will write 8. 10 times 9, we will write 9. And 10 times 10, we will write 10. It will be tens and hundreds for sure. Easy. And this is our 10 times table ready here. So guys, isn't it interesting? You can learn these tables very easily with these tips and tricks for mathematics. For more tips and tricks on mathematics, kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified when we upload new content. Thank you for watching.